Hey yo, what's up you guys? So I finally fixed it. Uh and yeah. So this is the first review in a while. Uh so let's make it a fun one. There's a bunch of reviews I still have to make. Uh including one that I'm about to do right now. Uh but I could do them all today, but I feel I don't really want to do that. Uh, you know about Rescue, I need to review that. There's a two-pack I need to review. But today... I'm going to review a DC Multiverse. Because, well... I, I have a lot of money to spend. I still have a lot of money to spend. Uh, and, well, I went to the store yesterday found some Marvel Legends that were on clearance, and I got one of those, but I'll review that at my mom's, because it's staying at my mom's. It's the 80 Years Iron Man, so be excited for that. I'm like, well, I have enough money. Uh, I don't really need it, but because I'm a big fan of Dick Grayson, I might as well get the DC Multiverse uh, Dick Grayson Batman. Now the box, like the Tim Drake Red Robin, is a pain. But, here we go. So, it's a standard box. You got a picture here. It's just DC. It's multiverse. 80 years Batman logo because it, it's been 80 years of Batman. You got a DC logo on top. On the sides, same pictures. Just slipped around. And that one is just like slightly focused. You see all the figures in the wave. Um, again, because I got this, I might get the Red Hood. Just so I can... Uh, finished the killer croc but i do want the rest of them uh, which is alfred katana and kg beast speaking of red hood the dc essentials red hood is on its way it'll be here this week and i should be able to review that because now i have 41 minutes to use so and i've got a bio that says following the death of bat following the death of batman Dick Grayson dons the cape and cowl and assumes the identity of his fallen mentor. Alright, so he comes with the left leg. I don't know why I didn't know that. Uh, but he comes with the left leg. Uh, again, I might build this because Killer Croc, you know, hey, he's a cool villain, I guess. You know, it's a villain, you know, need more villains. And there's still a ton of stuff I need to talk about. There's like Marvel stuff that's that's going on, and then there's DC stuff that's going on, like, there's been leaked pictures of Brendan, Brenton, I don't, I don't want to mispronounce his last name, but, uh, wearing the Nightwing suit and Titan, so, but here, he is, now, the one complaint I'm just gonna get right out of the way is the cape, now, if you just have him standing there, yeah, it's fine, you know, it doesn't look too bad, but, if you want him to look like he's gliding, each side should be this long. You know, it should be this wide. And it's not. So the cape is really thin, and I don't like that. Uh, but other than that, everything is fine. Uh, he's got two accessories, a unmasked Dick Grayson head sculpt. Which looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to try to see if this will work on the Nightwing that I have. Won't exactly fit the same skin color, but... Then he has this, this, which is, like, I don't want to do it because, like, I'm always afraid the peg's going to break and it's super hard to get that on there. But basically what would happen is that, okay, actually, I can show you what to do with this. You would basically put this and then you would put this on there. So, that's how you do that. So, if you wanted that. Uh, so, yeah. Let's take a look at the paint. Uh, I like the paint. It looks very much like, you know, if Dick Grayson was Batman, you know. And we got this smirk. Paint's pretty clean. The only thing that really bothers me is this scuff mark right in the bat symbol. It's like, out of all the places you could miss the paint, it's there. So, you got gray mostly all around. Pretty consistent. And there's blue on the gauntlets and the mask and the cape. Not that that's painted. It just comes like that. Uh, and then... Got the 
boots. And then you got black for, like, I don't know really what to call the groin area. And then a golden belt. So, uh, I decided that maybe I might get the Nightwing for the DC Multiverse because he actually, I saw a review of a review on him and I even saw stop motion of him. He actually looks pretty good. And you know what? I might have him over here. I might have like my own little collection of Night or Dick Grayson's at my dad's because this guy's staying at my dad's because I don't need to have, I don't need to have him in my mom's DC, uh, collection. But, as you can see behind me, I've been playing, uh, Injustice. I've been playing Red 2 a lot, but Red, Red 2, Red 2. It's a movie. Uh, go watch it. Uh, but, <laughs> I've been playing Red Hood a lot, uh, because I'm getting the Red Hood action figure. Now, this, the multiverse Red Hood actually is pretty good from what I heard. But, the problems I have with it, the most obvious one that everybody doesn't like is that you can't take the guns out. And, it looks like he has no neck. So... It looks like, it looks like that, practically. So. Yeah, I mean, this figure is pretty good. Uh, I don't really have any issues with it other than the cape. You know. I've been thinking about maybe getting, like, a custom, uh, bat signal. And having that behind him. So that way it kind of looks like, you know, because I, I have him, like, right on my nightstand. And he's just looking up. Kind of like if, you know, they had a bat signal or you could see it there and he would just be looking up. But, so. Alright, I guess we should get into the articulation then, shall we? So his head can move side to side. And look up a little bit. Look down. He's got a little bit of tilt, like barely at all, actually. Shoulders move out that far. He got his biceps roll. Single jointed elbow, which I'm not that disappointed about, but I wish he did have, if if they had the option to make him have double jointed elbows, I would like that. He has a wrist hinge and a swivel. I actually never used a swivel on that before. He's got an ab crunch that goes forward that much. Ab crunch that goes back that much, very tight. Got a waist swivel. His legs can kick forward that much, kick back that much. He can actually kick out pretty far. Like you could practically, you could get him in this. You could get him in the literal splits. That's kind of okay. He's got an upper thigh swivel. I guess double jointed knees. I mean, they go. They don't go all the way, but they're not single jointed. He got no boot swivel, which it kind of like misleads you ankles can move down they can move up and he's kind of got like an ankle pivot ish or it's more like an ankle rotation so uh to compare them to any figures uh since i got no dc figures over here um i don't know i really don't know i would compare them to the 80s years iron man but you have to wait for that tomorrow you know what yeah i'll compare it you can get a sneak peek uh for tomorrow's or when I get home later. <laughs> there he is. Not, you know, a little bit taller. But Dick Grayson's supposed to be like a slender, more slender Batman. Uh, I've never been really like, you know, big into Dick Grayson becoming Batman. I just kind of like the fact that He's the only one that should be Batman other than Bruce Wayne. You know, unless he dies too. Uh, just how I am. But. You can kind of get, his, it looks really weird because he's like this, but. I really do like this figure. I was playing with him a lot last night. Uh, so this is the Dick Grayson Batman. Uh, I haven't seen any of the run. I, kn I know that, like, he had this fight between Tim and Jason. I'm pretty sure, basically, what happened with Tim is that he kind of just talked him out of it. And then Jason was running around with a bat suit, with shooting people up. 
And Dick Grayson's like, hey, stop. It, 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 I saw some cat. Saw some uh, comic panels, and I should just call them panels now. Because I, I lo- uh, that sounds bad. Never mind. <laughs> but I am glad to be back. Uh, it took us a while, but I finally figured what I needed to do to get this stuff. Basically, when I go into storage, I have to click on images, clean all, delete all that, and then clean it, and then we're good. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully you enjoy this review of Dick Bats, as uh, some of the reviewers have been calling him. I just call him Dick Grayson Batman, because it sounds weird. But uh, either later today, when I get to my mom's... Oh, he looks a lot brighter on camera. He looks a lot brighter on camera. Uh, or tomorrow will be the review of 80 Years Iron Man, which is an awesome figure. Today, uh, probably the next review will probably be Rescue. And then when I come back to my dad's, I'll review uh, Hella and Scourge. So, other than that, there... Oh, wait. There's also a Far From Home Spider-Man that I got. The stealth suit. So, be on the lookout for that, too. I might do that before Rescue. But, yeah. And I'll see you guys all later. Uh, the next, like, video of vlog or talk or whatever will probably be about the leaked picture of the Nightwing suit. You can barely see it, but you can see the blue uh, Nightwing symbol on his chest. So that's pretty neat. You can kind of make it out. But, uh, yeah. So... See you guys all later.